Hey everybody, it's Chris Giranor on the shavingcadre.com. Back with you for my Monday shave video. I'm gonna try to squeeze it in here as quickly as possible because uh, it's a holiday Monday and everybody is doing stuff right now. And at the moment, everybody's out of the house. Could return anytime. Some of them are in the backyard. Some of them are in the park across the yard, but uh, the star of today's show, besides the Gillette pre-war tech with feather blade going on, let's say like the 17th shave, something like that. Yeah, still going. One blade February. Got my uh, Sorrentino first anniversary TSC brush with a badger knot. That's been blooming. Also been blooming. SV 70th, boom, right there. I'm gonna have a little bit of a luxury shave today. It's been a while since I brought this set out. Speaking of set, 70th anniversary aftershave, good stuff. I'm not gonna follow up with a, uh, what do you call it? Blah, 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 blah. Fragrance today. Normally I might follow up with something like, um, Guerlain Vetiver, something like that, but today I'm just gonna enjoy the very natural essences of SV 70th. So good. Light load's all you need. Stuff is triple milled, and once it gets uh, softened up decently, loads like a champ. Dogs barking. That's the little one. Anybody that gets too close to the door, she starts having a problem with. You're on my territory. Get out. Even with that short load I did, I might have loaded too much. Certainly can't do that. Whatever Marco method, 30 second load on this guy. You'd be swimming in it. Really excellent Italian soap though. Hoping at some point to get my hand on one or two other sets. I'm really interested in um, the, um, what's the other one? Oh, Opuntia. Everybody likes that. And I think Arctica Tundra, or how do you pronounce that? It might be half Italian, but I can't speak any. <laughs> Starting to eat it here. I think my lathering is done. Blah, blah. Smells good, does not taste good. At least it won't kill you. It's all natural, right? So I'm trying obviously my natural lighting today, which is interesting. I've gotten comments before that natural lighting in my videos usually looks a lot better to the viewer person watching but for me it makes it harder to see actually because the camera makes it at least look lighter to the viewer than what I can actually see it looks pretty dark in here actually except for directly where the lights coming from Count down to Oahu is real. Leaving in less than a week. This guy's gonna come with me. Hoping that it makes the journey safely. I'm gonna bring 
it's gonna get checked with my dub kit and baggage, but I'm hoping that uh, this particular blade stays okay. I don't really have a special carrying case for it. Um, I will be packing an extra few blades, feather blades, in case that particular blade does not make it as much as I'm hoping it does. And I will be also packing my track too, just in case the razor doesn't make it at all. We'll see. I'm probably going to be limiting myself to a combination of, well, not a combination, a single single soap and um, light aftershave for my shaves while I'm in Oahu, just to keep it simple. Uh, and then I'll bring a bunch of the samples I have of different fragrances and we'll smell good that way. Not quite sure what the bathroom situation is going to be. So had to be prepared. There's going to be what, like five, eight. It's going to be almost 15 of us in a house. It's going to be a big house, granted, but I don't know the situation other than that. Getting excited though. I'm gonna start packing here in a day or two after a final round of laundry. Hopefully that'll give us plenty of time to account for things that we forgot and have time to remember them and pack them. Hoping to find at least one little souvenir to bring back for myself. I'm kind of debating. I'd like to bring something back, but I'm sure other than super touristy stuff, I'm not going to really find anything. What I really had wanted to do was pick up a Garmin GPS watch and kind of say like, I wasn't going to get anything on the trip, but I'm going to have to wait on the watch. Because the one I want, the Instinct, is about 300 bucks. And right at this moment, that's not going to fly. So maybe I'll find a little something and bring it back, but I still got that in my sights. Uh, you saw it, if you were part of the TSC, you saw the watch I wore yesterday, my um, Citizen Blue Angels AT chronograph watch. Love that thing. That's my go to dress up watch right now way more functionality than i'll ever use that's fancy watch so this garmin would be a little bit more of a functional fancy watch i've got a what is it i think it's a timex it's a timex that makes the iron man watches I've got one of those 10 year battery Ironmans that has simple lap functionality and timers and all that stuff. But I 
I want something a little fancier. And plus that one's on a like nylon Velcro system. It was great when I got it. What is I've used it more for work. It just, I'd never buy another nylon band for the kind of work that I do. It just gets, I'm gonna be honest, stinky gross. Because <laughs> the nylon cloth, whatever it is, just soaks up all the sweat and grossness. I'd much rather have a metal band or a um, rubber band. That way I could just wash it off. Wash it off. See? The only problem with the instinct though, which is a, it's not as fancy as like the Phoenix, Phoenix Garmin watch, which is like insanely expensive. But unlike the Phoenix, Phoenix, however you pronounce it, the instinct does not come with the sapphire window. And I don't know why, because it's marketed as a rugged outdoor watch. Kind of like to fit along the lines of um, something a G-Shock watch could do, but with more functionality. But uh, G-Shocks are for the most part pretty cheap watches, but they're rugged. But you really don't, for the most part, care if the watch face gets scratched up. And it's really hard to do that anyway because of the raised bevel. But um, a $300 watch is a different story. Like my Blue Angel Citizen watch has sapphire window. And... Right now with the window that I, or excuse me, the uses I get out of the watch, the metal band on that watch actually looks worse than the window. The window's not scratched at all. I think it might have one small scratch. Well, you know, the, the wrist, bottom of the wrist area on the metal band is all scratched and scuffed and the window's holding out pretty nicely. I would like that option on the instinct, but if you can't have it, can't have it. It's still just an interesting marketing choice. I don't know why you'd, like the Phoenix, Phoenix has it, but I don't know why you'd want an outdoor rugged sport watch without as many protection options as possible. So good. Let that sit for a minute while I wash out my brush. Sure hope or Eric gets back in business soon. Smatty you on the TSC forums. He's one of our artisans. And he very graciously agreed to work with Chad and Chris and Dave when we were doing the first anniversary package and develop and make these brushes for all the members that uh, participated in purchasing the package. Really an awesome thing. No bristles shed today, I think, which is good. It's hit or miss on that. It's not a bad, bad knot, but it does shed. Oops, there's one. Boop. Another one bites the dust. Oh well, good brush though. I enjoy it. Um, it's actually the only badger brush that I use now. So, 
One of these days I might try a higher end or I might just ask Eric to make me something because he's a lot more accessible. And honestly, Eric's stuff and a lot of the vendors and hobbyists on the TSC, they're all accessible in terms of quality and price point. But it's all really high quality stuff. Like any other company that produced the same items would be selling half and again the same thing for half and again the price or double the price, even triple the price, like in Eric's case. Um, just people with talent. It's amazing. Generic witch hazel on here. This is all going to be really redundant actually because of the SV70th um, aftershave is just packed with anything you'd ever need, need after the shave. Got some Thayer's medicated. Bye. I've come to really enjoy the benefits that Witch Hazel provides. All right, here we go. SV 70th Aftershave is one of those shake deals I normally hate doing this, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Get a few drops, you don't need a lot. And the scent just lasts. It stays with you all day. Skin feels great. Mmm. Fresh Italian. Yes. All right, that's it for this week. Hope you all have a great week. I'm going to try to do some video recording uh, during our vacation. Uh, we'll see if I can get a shave recording out. It probably won't be published during next week, but maybe when I get back, I don't know what kind of capabilities I have if I'm going to bring a laptop or anything like that. I don't know. Uh, that's all up in the air right now because we only have so much space and we're probably going to have to bring things back as well, whatever the kids pick up and all that, but looking forward to a great time. Hopefully we don't catch coronavirus. <laughs> there was just a report released this, released this morning that uh, some couple or something from Japan flew into Hawaii, had their vacation, and as soon as they came back home, they were diagnosed with coronavirus, and they evidently might have shown symptoms while on vacation, so we're going anyway. Cross your fingers, say your prayers for us, but uh, anyways, catch us up, www.theshavingcadre.com. Um, I've got my shave journal that I do there. Tons of great folks. We're very close to 300 members. If you're not signed up yet, please go sign up. Check it out if you're interested at all in wet shaving. This is a great community. Um, otherwise, y'all have a great week. I'll catch you later. Bye.